Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. We are now on Chapter 4 and last time we managed to scrape enough gold together to be reinstated into the Thieves Guild. Let's see what Armand Christoph has to say. You've done well for yourself. So I believe now we can ask him for Sadly, Thieves Guild special jobs. I only work with the less experienced guild members. You should go see Scriva in Breville from now on. You can find her at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. I wouldn't recommend bothering her at home, unless the door is unlocked. So... Shadow. If we go to our quest log... Armand is no longer my primary Thieves Guild contact. My new contact is Screva in the city of Breville. I can help her. I, I can find her either at home or at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. I should ask her if there are any commission jobs for me. So we have a new doyen, um, Screva. And I don't actually think we've been to Breville yet. I thought that Armand Christoph actually had more quests than than that. So the door's locked at the minute. Looks like we're going to have to wait. I'm sure she is at home in the morning. And then she goes to the Lonely Suit and Lodge of an evening. We'll soon find out yet. So the door's open now. And she's usually sat right at this table here. Ah, you are the new thief. I am your new doyen. Uh, Thieves Guild special jobs. Sadly, you must demonstrate more skill before I can allow a commission job. Sell more stolen treasures to the fences. They will let me know when you have proven skillful enough. Okay, so it looks like we need to fence some more gold, um, which... Scriva told me that she won't have another commission job for me until I sell more stolen property to Ongar or Daji. I'll need about 200 gold worth of stolen goods before she will trust me sufficiently. So, it looks like we're going back to Bruma to finish, uh, to carry on where we started uh, thieving those houses. Um, just while we're loading this, I would like to apologise for any audio stream lag, um, as I have done in the last few videos. Basically, uh, we're having some network issues around my area, and the method that I use to record these from the Xbox, I use the companion app to stream to uh, um, my PC, in which then I record over. So unfortunately, with a poor connection, I am going to get some lag Sometimes it's audio, sometimes it's visual, sometimes it's both. Just like that. Oh. So I'm not sure if we've actually got any stolen goods in our inventory still. I think we sold... Really did we sell them all off? Yeah, or did we still have some? Customer. Yeah, we still got some from before. We got kicked out of Thieves Guild last time, so I might as well get rid of those. So 144, sorry 169, so we only need another 31 gold to fence, which shouldn't take long, I'm not sure if we've done this house or not, I think we left it last time because it was open, I've got a feeling anyway, let's have a look, if I can do this easy lock. Thank you. So I think, yeah, we've actually done this house already. That's the, the lag that I'm talking about there. Jer Gaster's house. We can't actually go anywhere because someone's watching us. Right, I think we're about ready. Go in this one instead. Really need to work on this lock picking. Your security skill has increased. So yeah, we haven't done this one yet. We'll have a field day here before we head back. We'll take anything of value because we've got a lot of uh, a lot of white to fill. 
in our inventory. Nice. So I think we've probably actually stolen enough already, but why stop there? Take the wine. And the silver urn, we'll take that. We don't want the handbill. Got enough bills to pay. The pewter stuff isn't worth anything. It's the silver stuff that you need to look for, ideally. Clay isn't worth anything either. Anything in the drawers, yeah, we'll take those outfits and shoes. Couple of books, books are always good. Crystal ball, uh, wine is uh, always good, mead in that case. I may as well take these books as well. We'll take that sneaky little thing up there. Pewter mugs are worth nothing. Oh, we've got an average lock now. We struggle to do the easy, so. That one's done. And another one. Absolutely nothing in there whatsoever. So it's actually just. Is that right? Oh, we've got some silver stuff here actually. We'll uh, loot this first before I go on to what I was about to say. nothing inside there it's all balanced on top so yeah basically what I saw just is that you can sleep in the bed so if you actually sleep in someone's bed while they're in there can they wake up next to you do they notice that you get into bed next to them might have to try that at some point so yeah just about um, about the lag as well I, it's it's a difficult one to call because I don't want to not bring content for a series that I've just started so I'm trying to work through it and Hopefully it will be resolved soon. I'm really tired. I don't want to find myself yeah, apologizing my every single custom. time that it lags, but I am but really I sorry. Think I can move this so let's sell all that stuff that we've just stolen. I think I can move this. You got a great deal there. You got a great deal. Sell all those there. and that. I think that seems I think. So we found over 200 gold now has been fenced. That was our target. Might as well just finish off what we've uh, what we've actually done. That's more. I think I think I can move this item for you at that price. And the cloth, crystal ball, the silver balls, etc. And there we go. I think that's all our stolen stuff. I'm glad. Sold. So we can now go back to Screeve. I've reached my goal. I've fenced over 200 gold worth of goods. I should go see Screeve at some time. She might have something for me. So we will go back to Screeve in Braville. Not Leowin. It keeps dragging me there because I'm assuming that's where the other fence is. Yeah, there we go, Braville, to the main gate. I can't actually remember what quest comes next. It's been that long since I've um, completed this storyline, this faction, rather. And she's sat in the same place as before. I have returned. Thieves Guild special jobs. I have a special request from the widow of a former fence in Leowin. As you know, I am asking you to help her. A street scavenger made off with a ring that the widow Adarji values highly. She is offering a reward. The guild frowns on freelance thieves. 
Are you willing to go to Leowen, find the ring, and get it back to Adarji? I'll help out this poor this widow. This is good. Go to Leowen, speak with Adarji, and help her find her ring. Okay, so that's uh, Adarji's heirloom, the quest. We're going to Leowen by the looks of it. Screever has asked me to retrieve a ring that belongs to Adarji. She's a Khajiit, one of my race, living in Leowin. I need to go to Leowin and see if I can find her. So the best place to start every Thieves Guild faction quest is by talking to the beggars around whichever town your objective is in. This case, Leowin. So we need to find the beggars. I'm guessing, I think that all the green arrows uh, on your um, compass are the beggars. I'm not sure whether you have to actually manipulate their, um, their thought of you with speech craft. Is it speech craft? One more coin and I can get a pair of shorts. Git. A dodgy? What's it worth to you? No more than five coins. She lives on the west side of town. She is fond of the Three Sisters Lodge in the evening, but takes her midday meal at the Five Claws. Stalker much? Blessings of Arkay upon So, we need to find her in whichever bar she may be in. Which is this one here, as it's uh, just after midday. Don't steal stuff the gray fox on accident. You. And Archie, come here. Why does the prey approach me? Pray about a dodgy stolen ring. Yes, a filthy Argonian stole my precious ring. It was a gift from my mate. His sentimental value. I will pay well. The stupid lizard hunts with the name Amusai. Find Ooh. him, find my ring. Make him suffer. Kill him and I will be pleased. The guild frowns upon stupid killing. guild rules. He is only an Argonian. He is less than human and much less than Khajiit. If you must spare him, at least make him suffer. Very harsh indeed. So Amusei, um, we've heard of that name before. I'm sure he was the Argonian that went for the Thieves Guild trial at the start of this faction. He's a frequent uh, character throughout the, the faction, uh, by the sounds of it. So I think now we're going back to the beggars to ask about Amuse. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. I Let's talk about Amuse. For a price. I can spare ten coins. The poor bugger was arrested. Seems he tried to swindle the countess. He's robbing in a cell in the castle dungeon now. It's common knowledge that the jailers can be brought to allow visitors to see prisoners. So that's updated our quest. Amusa is in jail here in Leowin. The only way I'm going to find that ring is to talk to him there. So it looks like we're off to the castle. That's the northeast gate. That's the castle. That's the one we want. I love this place, Leowin, to be honest. It's um it's probably not my favorite one of my favourite towns at all. So we'll uh go into the castle. This is probably my favourite castle of them all. The fact that it's so private upstairs and there's a lot of uh, areas to explore. A lot goes on in this castle. So where is it that we need to go? 
it's down here to the prison. Is it the dungeon? Yeah. So this is the guard we need to talk to. You're not supposed to be down here. I'm you, sir. Yeah, we got him here. Argonians aren't allowed visitors, though. Countess Alicia's orders. She's the thing about the lizard folk. Not even for 20 gold coins? I'm you, say, you say. <laughs> I <laughs> want to see I'm you, say, you say. He's off limits. I'm you, say, though, he's just down the hall. Uh, make it quick. Oh, thank you. That's 20 gold removed, and is it not down here? You'd think he's actually through the locked door that we probably could have just picked locked. But for 20 gold coins, he's done it for us, so which cell is he in? There he is, look. What do you want? A dodge's ring. Now let's ask him how he ended up in Lyowin. The Thieves' Guild refused to take me, I so I so. came here. Leowin is my home. It is where I was raised. <laughs> I went to the Imperial City in hopes of joining the Thieves' Guild. Now, I am forced to live as a freelance thief. So now we're asking about Adarji's ring. Why should I tell you where it is? Here I sit in Leowin's dungeon while you are free. What will you do for Amusai if I tell you? I'll... What if I give you, you a lockpick? do that for me. Maybe you guild types aren't so bad after all. Okay, it's a deal. Give me a lockpick and I'll tell you about the ring. Here, take this lockpick. Sunlit freedom. Yes, I stole that ring from Adaji. When I went to sell it, the fence told me I was too hot for him. He showed me an inscription on the inside, to Alessia. That had to be the Countess of Leowin. The damn ring was stolen property. Well, I figured I would ransom it back to the Countess, except she tricked me. I was arrested for theft, and she kept the ring. Uh, the Countess rarely leaves the castle. Good luck getting it back. Alright, so it looks like it could be a struggle. A debt of gratitude. So, uh, I think this is the part of the quest now that I remember. If you don't do the next sequence properly by going back and talking to... I can't remember her name. The, the one that we're trying to get the ring back for. I think it actually sticks in a loop if you don't if you don't go and talk to her first. So here it's telling you to go to the beggars as the two green arrows, which we do need to do. But if you don't do this first, it can cause um, an impossible loop to uh, get out of, so the quest will never be completed or something like that. Oh, there she is. Adaji, that's her name. Adaji stole a ring. Does the hunter have this one's ring? Amusei tried to sell it back. Amusei tried to sell it to Alicia Carl. Ah, stupid lizard. Stupid indeed. Adaji uses the ring much more wisely. I use it to collect and sell information. That ring can be used to read private messages that count rights. Get me that ring. Steal it from Alicia Caro if necessary. Just bring me the ring. I will pay double. Right, so now it's updated, and that's what you need to do before talking to the beggars. Apparently, a dodger can use the ring to read miss missives that the, um, and other castle documents written by the count. She sells the information to other counts of Cyrodiil. How that cat is out of the bag, so to speak, she has upped the reward to 200 gold coins which is better than um, better than giving it to Amusei but yeah if you don't do that before talking to the beggars sometimes this quest can get stuck 
someone might be able to enlighten us on that in the comments. I've just given you 15 coins. So let's uh, talk to him about the recovered Caro family so, ring. Alessia Caro has recovered her ring. And now you want to know where she keeps it so you can steal it back. Yes. My pockets are a little light at the moment, if you know what I mean. So here's 10 more gold coins. Go and buy some shoes. But I know who does. Talk to Ladara Matril, the Countess's handmaiden. She eats dinner in the castle of the Eight Bell. You may have to sweet talk her, but she knows all about Alessia Caro's habits and schedule. You should know that there are other secrets in that castle. What there secrets? The hidden torture chamber. They say that Count Marius interrogates Argonian immigrants from Black Marsh. The servants whisper. That the Argonians are dragged into the basement and never seen again. Grim. You should stay out of there, just in case. Do I look like the kind of Koji to stay What's out it? of a torture chamber? A beggar told me that Hilda Mothril, Alessia Caro's cham chambermaid, might be able to tell me where she keeps her ring. I'll have to sweet talk her, though. So that sounds like we need to use some speech craft. My favourite thing in the entire game. So let's go back to the castle. That's the main gate. Always get those two mixed up. So we need to go and find the handmaiden. As it's in the day, I'd imagine she should be downstairs with the Count and Countess. We'll soon find out. So yeah, it looks like she's on this floor with the green arrow. And guessing Urin, that's her. I am Lodora yeah. Mothril, Lady Leowen's chaplain and chief advisor. I assist her ladyship so that her enlightened policies might achieve the greatest possible influence upon the affairs of County Leowen. So we will ask her so, first about probably about the recovered ring. I don't think it actually matters what order you ask her about, but we will need to bribe her. Let's just talk. I'm not sure if that might be a separate Nonsense. quest, actually. The uh, yeah, the secrets I you in the dungeon. Most impressive. Why, oh, thank you. She's I most happy with that one. Most impressive. So oh, give us some of that one, sure. that one, and then Don't that one. Don't waste your flattery on me. My life is drab and wretched by can. Oh, please. Yeah. So I we're already up to sixty-two. Give it another go. Yeah, I get it. Gracious, what a hero. Is that so? Don't try to And we're down to 61. Me. That's amazing. Not bad. Don't waste your wasting your breath. And that's up to 65. My life is drab and wretched by can Yeah, I get it. Is that so? Don't 69. Talk. Disposition max now, so our spell, your speech craft skill has increased. So we'll give her right. a quick bribe exactly. as well. And we will ask Countess her about the, um, so the ring. To have the ring back. It's been missing for many years. She wears it constantly. Not all the time. I mean, she puts it in her jewelry box for baths at night. No proper lady would wear jewelry to bed. So that's a bit too much information, really. Shh. Let's it's ask her about her this and see if it's another that. quest. I'm not sure if it the is or not. has a secret passage somewhere basement that leads to her private quarters that's where the torture chamber is okay it's part of this quest i can hear the screams of the murderers when i'm in my chambers yeah so we did need to ask both of those questions about uh, about <laughs> finding it it seems there is a secret passageway that leads from the basement to the countess's private chambers if i can find it that passage may lead me where i need to go so i'm not sure where it actually is is it back down here, past the jail cell. Or is that a different quest that I'm thinking of? I'm sure there's another quest... ...in the castle... ...of a different city... 
where you have to break someone out. I'm not sure. Can't remember where it is. Can I go in here without him seeing? You have to pull a lever somewhere, I'm sure you do. So that goes back there, so it's not down here. You yes. Can you let me through that door again? Or do can I just I break through? Let's break through average lock. Ooh, we're running low on lockpicks. And I'm sure I need lockpicks for the jewellery box in the room as well, so we may be running very tight after this. So pick that lock to go down to the cells. But this isn't this isn't what I thought. I'm sure it's a different um, quest that I'm thinking of now actually. Where the um there's a torch hanging on the wall. What do you want? Mm. Anyone looking for work? No, he's not gonna tell us I anything else. So it's not down here. Room. Let's go back upstairs where the arrow is pointing and there must be another way. You look lost. I am lost. Right. So if we go up into the main hall, there's another door here on the right hand side. Is it this one? Because I thought this was the dining area. No, it's going to let us go through there unnoticed. I don't think there's anyone down here. This is definitely the right way, isn't it? Just have a quick look around here. An average chest. Let's try this on properly. There we go. Oh, steel warhammer times two. Nice. other chests or anything around here there's the lever in the barrel you pull that to open the secret door in the wall I'm sure this is what leads to the torture chamber now secret room that's looking promising an easy lock easy it was So yeah, this is the, uh, the torture chamber, apparently. There's nothing there. We have a chest here. Two gold inside. Nothing absolutely fantastic. Ah, uh, I've just thought of something. It's only 4.11pm. And I'm going to need to wait, which you can't do while trespassing. So if I pick this lock. I'm going to go out first and wait until they're in bed, which I imagine would be around 1, 2 p.m., some, um, 2 a.m., something like that. What a waste of time. I should have, should have thought about that before I come down here. So we're back out in the castle hall. Now let's wait until around 1.30, 2.30, something like that. Let's stop there and see if they're actually on the throne. Which they are not, so I think they may have gone to bed now. We will soon find out. Um, I'm sure I'll go through that door. Excuse that lag, that was really bad then. I'm sure I'll go through that door and there is a guard patrolling the area. I don't think it's too difficult to get past him. But I'm not sure how good our sneak is. 
going from the start of the game, the sneak was absolutely rubbish. So here we are at that door. It's a, an easy lock. I'm sure we can go through there. We've got to be careful. Oh dear. I spoke too soon. Oh dear again. Oh dear again. Oh dear again. I'm just going to auto attempt it. That was a waste of lockpicks. Four lockpicks there. Absolutely dreadful. I'm not sure if he's around here or not. Oh, there's a lever. So this opens the wall. Is it through this room? No. Nope. So is there anything in here? There's a chest there. Well, uh, there's nothing inside it. Typical. And there's another chest with nothing inside it. Typical. definitely at the top of these stairs now but we have more chests there's gold in that one and one more gold in that one so now we're in the I think this leads to the private quarters now so we'll open that we'll just take a step back this is where the guard is for definite there he is so he's done one that way, we'll run over here really quick, because this is the way to the room. The arrow is pointing there. Oh, we'll unlock this door. Very easy. I'm just going to save it just in case. Because it's awful to get caught at this point of the quest. I don't want to get into the habit of reloading it, but if needs must... So it's an average lock on here. So it broke one. We <laughs> chanced it with the auto pick. So we'll take that. So I've got the ring. Now to find a Jarji to collect my reward. And I'll take those as well. I'm not sure what that um, piece of paper was that I just picked up defining the Elder Scrolls. I will probably take a look at that later and see what it is. I do like to read some of the things, so... The guard hasn't seen us there. We'll dart back into the door and close the door behind us. We'll make our way back down to our mistress's dungeon. And the music goes quiet. So I'm sneaking, I'm not sure whether I can just run or not and remain hidden. I don't think it actually matters if no one's in this particular subsection. It'll only take us a, a few seconds to get out now anyway. That's a wall. I'm just going to leg it. Risk it for the biscuit. So that's the stolen ring, and none the, none the wiser. Now just to find Adaji, she'll probably be asleep, so we might have to wait outside either her house or one of the pubs. Let's just fast travel back into that part of Leowin, or shall we just go for it? We're going to have a walk this time. It's only around the corner. In fact, it's right here, and it's uh, a hard lock to get in, so she's definitely asleep. So let's wait until morning and hope that she's awake. Yeah, so it's open now. I always put night eye on for some reason. Adaji's stolen ring. Does the hunter have this one's ring? Here is your ring. ring. Oh, thanks to the claws of the clan mother, you have recovered. No, all thanks to me. Is that slimy Argonian dead? Did he suffer long? I hope so. You have earned the reward. The Thieves Guild was always good to Adaji's dearest mate. I am grateful that the memory is still honored. 
so that's a quest updated. Adarji's ring removed. And 200 gold added from Adarji. Now, you know, I'm, in fact, I'm sure Adarji said that this was a peasant. And it looks like she's got a nice house to me. However, she was very grateful and rewarded me nicely for the ring. And now I need to return back to our doyen. And that is not the front door. That is the front door. They look exactly the same. Oh. So let's go to Breville. And it looks this time as though Screeva is in the Lonely Suitor Lodge. Anytime now. Yeah, so she's not home. Yeah, she's at the uh she's in the pub getting pissed. Hello night mother. It is me, and you don't know me. Unless she was a telepathic Khajiit. So, where is she? They're all stood right behind the bar, having some kind of orgy. And there she is. I have. A dodgy stolen ring. You are truly an asset to the guild. I will make sure the Grey Fox himself hears about Brilliant. I am promoting you to Prowler. Congratulations. Prowler. That suits me. Prowler. Ha, the Xbox 360 achievement. Prowler. Thief Guild. 10. Gamer score. So, special jobs. I'm guessing I need to sell some more. You are unproven. Or yeah. at least insufficiently proven for the tasks this one has available. Gold is the blood of the Thieves Guild. Keep the fences busy and rich. Then come to see me. Okay, so amount fancy 242 gold. Is it 300? Let's have a look. Scriven told me that she won't have any commission jobs for me until I sell more stolen property to Ankar or Daji. I need to sell about 300 golds worth of stolen goods before she will trust me sufficiently. That's not a big ask considering we've already got some stuff. And um, let's take a look at this um, Divining the Elder Scrolls of Night. The Elder Scrolls themselves can pierce the veil. They offer a view of the flux of time itself. The prophet who reads the scroll sees one version of what might be. Another prophet might have a different vision with equal veracity. The prize for insight is the reader's eyesight. He is struck blind and... So I'm guessing that's a series. So I don't think I'm going to sell that. I would like to find out where to collect those. If you've got any ideas of where to collect those then drop it in the comments below because I would like to read the full sort of um, log. So I think next we are going to go back to Bruma and Ongar to fence some more gold. We don't need a lot and I think we may have it already covered with what we have in our inventory. I'm not sure why I just waited then. I thought that we was going to thieve from a house. Right Look at all these people standing outside. Chilling, having a fag. I'm really tired. Can we Yeah, my favorite customer. So we've got these war hammers which we can sell, and that's our favorite gold covered already. Easy. You drive a hard bargain. We'll get rid of the rest. I, think I, can move this item. I don't want to sell that. I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. <laughs> I need a nap. Shadow hide you. I've reached my goal. I've fenced over 300 gold worth of goods. I should go see Screever sometime. She might have something for me. Brilliant. So we need to go back to Screever for our next task. And whoa! So bell rang and she ran off like a maniac. I love some of the things that you see throughout Oblivion, some of the random shit that happens like that. It's amazing. <laughs> so one of the things that I do want to do is buy a house because I need 
a place to store a lot of things such as this stolen note defining the Elder Scrolls, but I'm not sure how much a house is on the waterfront. Now, I know you can get one in Anvil, but I think you still need to pay a good amount of gold for that. I think it's 5,000, but you get that massive house after you complete the the ghost quest, and that's something that we will be doing, but I'm not sure how much it is for a house on the waterfront. If it's not too expensive, I will consider buying that one, especially because it's sort of close to the Thieves' Guild, which is where I'd like to be. Venincia Milicea, Office of Imperial Commerce. You got complaints? Of course you got complaints. Who was it? <laughs> that's true. Can Buy a house in town. I can only speak to a friend. Oh, so you're going to make me do speechcraft now, are you? We'll see. Well, I think I will do. Let's see if I can please you verbally. With my cat-speaking tongue. I doubt it. I do. That's cute. You think I'm afraid of you? You're That's too not kind. what I want. That's really 50 funny. decent. That's not bad. Why? I mean, of course. That worked. All I have available right now is a hovel on the waterfront. It's not I worth 2,000 gold to me. someone will be foolish enough to buy it. And that Take will care. probably be me eventually when I get 2,000 gold. But right now, I have 793 gold. If we didn't have to pay a hefty blood price, we'd have been near enough ready to move into a house. Um... I think that I am going to get that house eventually, but I still need somewhere to put that, so I think I'm going to travel to the waterfront. I'm not sure if I can pick my way into that house or whether you actually need a key for it. We will find out, but if not, I'm sure I can leave it in a crate nearby and it doesn't get touched. But that might be, um, might be a bit risky, but I'd rather not keep something stolen in my inventory with that chance of getting arrested if I can just drop it somewhere. Not drop it, but leave it somewhere. But I'm sure if you leave it in... Let's have a look. I'm sure if you leave it in a crate like this... So there's got a shuffle in there. So if we just put it in the crate... Drop that in the crate. So it's in there. So yeah, you definitely need a key to get in. You can't lockpick. We'll wait 24 hours. And hopefully it doesn't disappear. If it does disappear, then... Well, shit, we just wasted our time. If it doesn't disappear, we could be onto something. But I still need a house. And it doesn't solve that whatsoever. The thing about the Thieves Guild is it doesn't pay very well very early. So it's still there. So um, hopefully it'll still be there in about a year's time when we do buy a house. Let's drop the shovel out of our inventory. We don't need that. Right. In fact, I've just seen that we've got Agamir's key. We might just be able to use his house. I still need to go back there. I haven't been back there since killing him. So, I now need to go and see Screever. So we will fast travel back to Braville, but I think that that's probably going to be the end of this episode. That quest took a lot longer than I thought it would. I forgot about the length of some of these quests, to be honest. So we will um, run to find Screever in Braville. She's not at home, so she's in the Lonely Suitor Lodge. Yeah. However, if there are any um, requests or things that you'd like to see me do instead, or as well as the Thieves Guild, let me know in the comments. Uh, more than happy to switch up the Let's Play just to make you guys happy. It's not all about what I want to do. Obviously, we will get onto the main quest at some point, but some of the factions I'd like to get out of the way and done with first, just purely because of um, the gold that you get for it. Such as the Champions Arena, 
and the Dark Brotherhood as well are both factions that I really want to get into. I will do the Mages faction as well. Um, that's not on my list of priority though, that'll probably be one that I'll either do in passing as a passive faction or last. I'm not sure. We don't really use Mage all that much other than Restoration. But if it is something that you would like me to bring forward, if that's the content that you enjoy, do let me know. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and will stick around for the next. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It will help me out a lot and keep you in the loop with new videos, particularly of this Let's Play series. Goodbye.